Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swish Show Netflix pre-earnings call. I'm doing a little prediction here of the earnings that are out tonight at Netflix. So Netflix right now is trading at 341 and 40-ish here on Monday, April 21st. It's 11.09, but Netflix has earnings out tonight. So my call for Netflix earnings is this, the gap up. It's going to gap up for sure. There's no way this gaps down. So I have 100% conviction that Netflix gaps up tonight. Now, where is the question? Do you think I gap up to here? Here. For $500. The best case scenario for Netflix is to gap up to $500 tonight. Now, I wouldn't put it out of the question for it to do it. The market is bullish. Netflix is bullish. We're going to go over that in a minute because many people are not reading this chart correctly because it's broken so many different pivots. Remember, a trend has nothing to do with the pivots. Netflix is in a bullish uptrend and actually is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chart and is holding very, very well. Very well and still very strong and it's just ready. I mean, tonight it could do it. Tonight Netflix could gap up to $500. I wouldn't be surprised if it does it. I'm going to watch it and see what it does. I, I actually think it might because this has been such a beautiful, fantastic pulling for this. And all it's waiting is for more buying to come into it, which I do believe is going to happen tonight. Either way, that it gaps up because that's what would happen for a stock to gap up like Netflix. It would be buying. I'm seeing this here now that I actually think this got shorted in here a little bit. I think some people shorted this, which is not the people in control of the stock, which is not the power money people. So it's definitely going to get up. I think it could actually get to 500 because I think it's going to get bought by the people controlling the stock in the first place, which is the bulls and the power money people to the upside. And I believe the traders shorted this, which they should have never shorted a stock like this. And because the traders shorted this, they will get stopped out. Many different levels here where people have their stops. Some are at 400, actually. So over 400 will get covering, covering of shorts, which will create green in the stock, plus the buying already coming in, which could give it even bigger lift. This really has actually the potential today to gap up to $500 because I see we'll see short covering that will come in when it gaps up because no one ever should have shorted this. And people did. I can see that people actually shorted this. And also the buying is going to come into it, which I think is going to make the gap in the first place and then push out the shorts. So this has the potential. Target for this for the full on year is still in play for 750. I put that out a while ago. On the initial gap here that happened back here in January, I said 750 is the target for Netflix this year. And, and that means it's doubling in, in the price point, but that's like nothing for this stock to do. And also, the, this is a very bullish market that we're in this year. I think it continues and hasn't really made the bigger move again over the high, which I believe it's going to do soon, sooner rather than later. And also, uh, this is a beautiful chart. And once it gets up over to the next level, it has huge potential, which is anywhere over 500. The idea of getting that up to 750 is very within sight. And remember, it's only April. It's only April 21st. And this is just a nice chart. Just a really, 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 really nice chart. Love the pulling in Netflix that happened in here. So let's go over it. Why did traders short this? Because traders make decisions based on pivots. I do not. Okay, which is one of the reasons why I'm good at reading trends. Yes, this broke many pivots in here. It also broke many pivots in here. So people are seeing that it made lower lows and lower highs because it made lower low in here, rallied up, made a lower high here, came on in, made a lower high here, and a lower low here, made a series of lower highs and lower lows in here. Okay. And yeah, the stock did gap. It did gap down. It did gap down here. This is a gap down. Now, I didn't short this. I wouldn't have shorted it. I would not have. I didn't. Okay. If I would have, I would have. But anyways, um, this, this doesn't mean this chart is broken. It's not. So there's a series of higher, uh, lower highs and higher lows in this. And I know that traders shorted this, but it was not a good thing to do because this is not going to go anywhere but higher again. And tonight, I think it's a night. So it's a beautiful, fantastic buy tomorrow up around 500. Fantastic. They could be aggressive long in it. 
And the problem is going to be if it actually gaps up to some area that is still a good, nice, bullish gap. This is a long no matter what it does. But if it gaps to an area, then it gaps to congestion, then I'm not sure how aggressive you can be in it long tomorrow. Like, it may take till the second day to set up correctly for long. But either way, this is gapping up tonight. And how aggressive you can take the long entry tomorrow will depend on the price that it gaps to. Because if it gaps to an area of congestion, then you may have to wait for the intraday trend to set up or the following day to do it, to go after it aggressively. But I think there's a potential and a possibility for this to do exactly what it needs to do tonight. Right up over the number, make new highs, Netflix tonight, because people did short this. It was traders, not institutions. They are not shorting this stock. There's no institution shorting this at all. There was selling that came into this stock when the market was pulling into. Perfect, perfect timing of this pulling with the market into an area of support, which is held. This counts as a hold, by the way. And it's just a nice, nice chart. People are scared today, though, because they're selling out of this today. And the market's sideways today, bullish neutral. So you can see that people are scared in here to sell out of this today. Or maybe people are, you know, thinking this is going to gap down, but it's not. So this is a nice, nice chart, but it just depends where it gaps through tonight to see what it's going to do. But there's a lot of potential in this to do it, what it needs to do because it's had a beautiful pull-in. It's a strong chart. This is still in an uptrend. It's holding everything. It looks fantastic, and you could be aggressive with this, you know, up to the $500 area if you really want to go after this tomorrow long. I have 100% conviction this gaps up tonight. I just don't know exactly the number it gaps up to, and it depends exactly how many people cover the shorts and how much buying wants to come into it, but it has all the potential in the world. Some of these strong charts that still look amazing right now are going to set up perfectly here with the market to get up over the high and the charts to make new highs in the stocks. So the stocks are, some of these stocks are going to make its second quarter earnings season. It's starting and it's underway and it's all this month and next month too. And some of these beautiful bullish charts are going to are set, just setting up beautifully with pull-ins, nice pull-ins with the market to get to make new highs in the charts and new highs of the market too. So there's just some of these things look just amazing to take them with the market. And if you do overnight or core swing trades long, you 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 it's really you know you have a perfect time here to get some of these things with the market. Again, I only do gaps, so you're looking to read the gap, and for the bullish gap. You would rate this gap, and it has to rate 20 points or more on the 26-point rating system to go long Netflix tomorrow morning on the gap up. If it does gap up, it could gap down, but I can't see that happening in a million years. But anyways, if you want to play it to the upside, you would rate the gap. Okay? This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a wonderful, fantastic day, everybody. And we'll take a look at Netflix tonight. I have a seminar I'm doing tonight at 4.30, a live lecture actually on gaps, how to make you know good money, decent money trading gaps. The lecture is at 4.30 tonight. If you're interested in more information on the next Golden Gap class, it's this coming weekend, April 26th and 27th. If you would like to sign up, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I already have people pre-registered. So if you want to reserve your spot, then get your paperwork back this week to reserve your spot. Thanks, and everybody, and have a great day.